Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the McCormick Cup Final 2022. My name is Matt King, and I'm here with my good friend, Miles Martins. Miles, How you doing, Matt? Fantastic, man. This I think we've known each time. other for 25 years. Now we've been on the rugby field. We've been very good friends ever since. I've been looking forward to this for a long time, and this looks like the perfect rugby day. Yeah, it absolutely is. This is uh, normally, uh, back in the day, this would be like the first or second round of the playoffs, but uh, due to some changes from Rugby Ontario, the finals are now being held at the beginning of October as opposed to the end of October, beginning of November. Weather is absolutely beautiful today. 18 degrees, 19 degrees, beautiful fall weather. Hasn't rained in a couple of days, not expected to rain today. Track's going to be fast. It's going to be see some great, great, great rumpy today. What do you think? We're going to see the ball moving from side to side. When it's on the ground, it'll be bouncing around a lot, so expect some cheeky kicks to happen there. Uh, before we get started here, let's announce the teams here, Miles. The favorites today are the Toronto Scottish. They're ranked number one. Bommy Beach is number two. The Scottish, the lineup, starting lineup, number one, Andrew Swales, Nitai Ben Shack, Mike Smith, Charles Doak, Max Fryer, Brandon Kostick, who is captaining today, Aidan Connickton, Marcella Wainwright, Chris Rhodes, Shane McGuire, Jeffrey McDonald, Thomas Aiken, Amesh Ahir, Joe Jepps, and Andrew Danham. And for the beach side, uh, Owen Lovato, Julian Alexander, uh, and Pete Vanderson, uh, the front row, Scott Dunham and Bart Duran playing second row, Connor McLaughlin, Mark Lawless, and Ed Matthews playing back row today, Dylan Young at the number nine spot, 10 is Stephen Dwyer, he is your captain for today, uh, Denzel Boris, <laughs> Kyle Lasaka on the, on the wings, Jason Parks and Thomas LaRouche in the centers, Nabil Itmas is in that 15. Short kickoff to start the game. Down in the beach end. There's a slight breeze here today going from left to right on your screen. So the Balmy Beach had that advantage in the first half. They might take a bit of advantage of that, but that's not going to make a whole lot of difference. The beach running out of their own half. Ooh. Showing early on that they want to move this ball around. The Scottish upset it though, it's a turnover. The referee says it's fair. You know, there's big contact right there by Jason Parts right there in the center. It looks like he popped the ball loose. Might be playing a little bit of advantage, but looks like the, the Scottish have the ball and they're, they're looking to walk forward from the 40 in. Watch Jason Parks all day for the beach. He's going to be a big runner, getting those hard yards up the middle, getting going forward so that the outside backs in the next phase would have some space to attack into. This Bommy Beach defense up super fast. They want that ball back. It's also cup day. So there's going to be a lot of nerves, a lot of guys that are just super fired up and ready to go. So you can, t you can guess in like the first 10, 15 minutes, everyone is just trying to get all those nerves out and all the jitters out and just make a big hit and make a statement to get this game going in the right direction. That's exactly right. Toronto Scottish still with the ball here, slowing it down, trying to calm those nerves, hitting it up with the forwards, trying to get some momentum, but the beach are shutting that down. Their defense is really up. Scottish try to go wide here. This is an interesting move. But the beach defense again shuts it down. The Scottish continue to go backwards. 
And it looks like the ball is turned over. They're going to kick it. Of course, there's no one back there. Good idea with any turnover to do that. Well, that's out on the full. It looks like it went out on the full just. It just touched the line. Ooh, Thomas LaRouche looks like he is injured. Could be an ankle. Tomas, one of the players that came up through the academy at the beach and uh, is now made on the first team here. And he's, he's made a huge impact this year. He's walking extremely gingerly here. Th this would be tough for him if, uh, and for the team if he weren't able to continue. So the ball went out in the full. What exactly does that mean? Can you tell me what that means? Well, if you kick the ball straight out of bounds when you're outside the 22, or if the ball gets passed outside of the 22, then the lineup comes back to where the ball was kicked from. Big, big disadvantage. Great. No, no, I'm just saying the ball in the presentation was lost. So while the ball's dead here, just a bit of background on the teams. These guys have met twice already this season, and they split the wins on that. The Bombay Beach won the first game, 39 to 34. And the Toronto Scottish won the second game more convincingly, 38 to 23. The Scottish did finish the season higher, and they are the favorite team today, but I wouldn't say it's by too much. I think, Miles, you wanted to point out that. Oh, yeah, that doesn't look like that. Thomas LaRouche is going to be able to continue on in this one. It's, that's very, very, it's a huge loss for the beach here. Three minutes into the game, looks like he may have to be subbed off. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Come on in, stop. No, it looks like he's going to be staying on the field. It looks just taking a knee. Guys, there's an injury. Yeah, Mo Chantry, the, the head official today. He's, he's the best in Canada, hands down. Is it an injury? Can you just to finish off the, the history of the teams here, uh, both founded around the same time, Bombay Beach 1955 and the you? Scottish are actually two years older. Um, two of the marquee okay. and foundational so the teams in Toronto. Continue, okay? Okay, you're just gonna keep going. And uh, in that history, the Scottish have won the championship two times, the Bombay Beach a whopping 15 times. 15 times. times. Phenomenal stuff. Okay, they're perennial powerhouses. He's getting his toe taped up. We're going to start the game. Yeah, okay, so th that's the call from the that's call from Mo, the, the the head official today, the referee, saying that Thomas is going to stay in. It looks like that uh, he's just going to get his toe taped. But because he's on the other side of the field and he's away from the play, they're able to play on. Ben Shock wins a scrappy lineup ball there. The Scottish want cleaner ball to run with. Ooh. Looks like he's offside there. The veteran Scott Dunham, it looks like, offside. He's off his feet, handling the ball. That's going to give the Scottish a nice early venture into the beach half, into the beach 22. So it looks like they're going to try to put this in the corner here and elect for a line out. It looks like this line out's going to be around the, around the 20 meter mark as a forward. I believe they're, they're going to look to bring this down probably towards the middle or back of the line out and have a massive, massive drive on and see if they can walk this in as far as they can from 22 out. It looks like the Scottish are taking one person out of the line out. I think it's going to go to Max Fry here, number four. They've got a five-man line out. Look at this. So they've they bring it down. There's the platform. They wait for it to settle, and then they start to walk. Now it's moved, to be honest, he's in from the side. Advantage. So that's why they have advantage. So they're going to keep it in. The, play, the ball becomes unplayable. They're going to say he's offside. You can see, they see the player came in from the side, on the beach side came in from the side and, uh, and disrupted the rolling mall, which caused the, uh, which caused the penalty. I think they're going to do the same thing again. They're probably just going to put this in the corner and uh, have another catch and drive, as they say. So now you have a line out here on the five meter mark. So that's two penalties for the beach so far, and it's really cost them. The Scottish early in the game down on the beach goal line. Uh, this is the part of the field where no one on defense needs to make a mistake for you to be able to, to score a try. So it's just a matter of punching the ball up nice and tight, high, rapid pace, bang, 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 and uh, make inches. So uh, a great catch a here by Max Fryer. Here. That's the hooker in a towel. 
They like to pick and go down here on the, on the, on the inside five. Nice goal line stand here by the beach. Looks like the beach are offside. As they wait for it to settle, move the ball a little bit wider. Nice switch back there, but that's an instruction call, so they're going to bring it back. I apologize for talking over the referee. But he's saying that they're not rolling away. So once you're tackled, you're on the ground, you have to release the player and roll away from that action. If you don't do that, then you're impeding the play, and ultimately that, turns, that results into a penalty. So for the third time, it looks like they're going to go for another line out. Take a player off. Don't come in. The beach already conceding three penalties. I like the front here. And we're not too far into the game. They've got to up their discipline here, especially it seems like the veterans that have been drawing the penalties so far. It's not something you'd expect. If I'm the Scottish, I go back to Max Fryer for a third time. Ball. Great catch and drive right there. Keep it on, Steve. So they wait for it to set. Five. They have advantage again. So number three, Mike Smith. Charles Doak holding it up here. As they work the ball to the back again. Chris Rhodes moves the ball wide. We have a 2-1-1 on the outside. Jeff McDonald bringing it down over there. Advantage, advantage. Another advantage for the, for the Scottish as they keep pressing here in the early part of this game. Mike Smith, yet another carry for him. I think we're still playing advantage here. They get the penalty again. So what they're doing is they're killing the ball. But he has called for the previous call. That's the offside. I wouldn't be surprised here that what he's done. He's called. Mo has called the. the ball down here and stop it. He's brought the he's brought the captains in to talk to them. That's been about four penalties now in the last in the last five minutes. So coming in the side on the ball, offside. Yeah. Number two first, then number five, okay. and then number four is offside here. Yeah. So no more. Next one's gonna go. So what Mo is saying right here is that uh, there's I, I'm, uh, no more penalties, please. You can please. take a penalty here or a penalty there. You can take a penalty here on the 15. Now I'd say that's a good idea. The, the Scottish had options of where they could have taken that penalty. Uh, they could have taken on the side of the field and likely kick for another line out there and drive for the try. Given that they've been camped down here for a little while, if they don't succeed there on that fourth or fifth attempt that they're going in, that's pretty demoralizing for the Scottish and also a big uplift for the beach with that big defensive effort. So this is a wise decision by the Scottish. They're down in the red zone. It's a good idea to come away with guaranteed points, and yeah. you can't get more guaranteed yeah, than I think you, you have to take points here. Post. You have to take points here. There's, there's no choice. There's, there's no rugby tomorrow. There's no, the, your season is done today. You've got to take points here. Andrew Denham lines up. Strokes it through for three points. What I wanted to say earlier is that Mo has advised the beach that if you continue penalties from this point forward, it would result in a, in, a, in a card, a yellow card, which means that somebody would get sent off for about 10 minutes. The beach need to collect themselves here. They've got a lot of veterans. They've got people like Scott Dunham in here who's been playing for the beach for 27 years. He's been there longer than some of these players have been alive. And you'd expect more with the leadership and the tradition and the, uh, the fortitude that this club has, that they'd have a little bit more discipline than that. And they do. They're just, uh, they just haven't started off this game properly. Chooses to go deep. It's collected by the Scottish. Dangerous runner up the middle here. You never want that with the winger. Open field running. Great run here by Jeff McDonald. It's held oh! up, though. 
It's called a mall. So if this ball doesn't come out, they have to produce. Then oh, it's, it's gone, a it's gone to, to deck beach. now. Tell them what happened here, Matt. The Scottish brought the ball into the contact, and it was not a complete tackle. The tackle was still up in the air. And then once more players come into that stand-up tackle, that becomes a mall once there's three or more players. If the ball doesn't come out of a mall, then the scrum is awarded to the team that did not bring the ball into the mall. And so in this case, it was a Scottish who brought it in, didn't come out, and so the beach get the put in. Crouch! First scrum of the game. Set! Oh, I love it. Get out. Advantage here for the beach. They're going to take advantage of that big runner, Jason Parks, up the middle. We're going to see that all day. Looks like they still have advantage here. It's a tight entry here. We're going to come back for the penalty. We go back to the original penalty. So in the scrum, you notice the scrum started to twist a little bit. Um, the the uh, Aiden Connington, number seven, reached around and, and grabbed uh, the number the nine, the Dylan Young. Or the penalty unbinding in the scrum. Your, your back row player. You have options here or over there? Uh, For the offside, back, back offside. We'll take it over there. You have it over here, guys? Where's the mark? Number 10. 10 up early, offside. <laughs> offside. So that was, I believe, number seven for the Scottish, Aidan Connachton. He played for under-19 Ireland. Pretty high standard. He's going to be one of the better players in the field today, certainly for the Scottish. Uh, an uncharacteristic error on his part there. It had the beach under pressure for quite some time. They've alleviated them now. Maybe there's a chance for the beach to get back into the swing of things. This is the first time we get to take a look at the beach line out here inside their half inside uh, the Scottish half, attacking from the 40 meter out. I'd like to give it to number Scott, Scott Dunham. He's Mr. Reliable. Lovely. That's a great tackle there from the Scottish Mike Smith. He's a former Arrows player. He's showing his value there. The Beach now have had the ball for a sustained period. They're showing that they really want to move it. Part of the reason for that is Stephen Dwyer, one of the uh, Leinster under-19 players. He knows how to move the ball. He knows how to run the game. It's really great to have a player like that at number 10. Here they go. They're through, building momentum now. Feels like they're going to score. They certainly got an advantage on the left side here. That is lovely That's work. That's Denzel. That's fantastic. That's Denzel. That's fantastic work. So this really all starts from, you know, from the original scrum. Oh, I'm sorry, for the line out. And what they want to do, they want to go sideline to sideline. And this is, they've, they've gone from this side all the way back to the far side. They came back again. They score in the far corner again. You can tell that this is the kind of game that the beach want to play. This expansive kind of rugby. And this is the field to do it. This is the day to do it. The field is nice and turf. The turf is nice and fast and wide open. It just feels like they really want to move the ball from side to side. When they're able to see that gap in the middle, you saw that Julian, in, um, I'm sorry, Julian Alexander was able to, to take that gap, which allowed it to open up a little bit more. They went back out to the wing, and then Den Denzel scores in the corner. The beach showing what they're capable of. I was talking about Stephen Dwyer there. Leinster, arguably, is, is the best-run rugby club in the world. So someone coming from that organization, he's uh, going to have a wealth of knowledge. And being in a position like fly half, he's going to be able to organize the attack, get the right assets in the right part of the field as you saw perfectly demonstrated there from the beach today. They're gonna wanna continue to do that. Um, the beach is more of an all-round team here. Flags don't go up, so they won't get an extra two points, but the beach still ahead by two. Uh, the Scottish, on the other hand, have most of their firepower in the forward pack. Number of arrows players, number of expats that have come over to add power to the team. Players like Mike Smith, Max Fryer, Brandon Costa, who's captain, Aiden Connachton, and Marcello Wainwright, former Arrows player. He played player. for the Arrows, right? Yeah. That's, uh, that's where the Scottish are really going to focus their, their attack today. Oh, that's a funny bounce. 
That went to Mike Smith. He is, he's touched the ball a lot so far. As they continue to drive inside here. Big dummy here by Chris Rhodes. Another pick and go by the, by the Scottish. Stay back, yeah, good. Looks like they have another pick and go here from the Scottish. Just want to consolidate. Nice, clean, safe ball for them. Mike Smith again. And as we were just saying, the Scottish are going to focus their attack on the forwards. They're doing a pick and go, pick and drive here with their bigger players up front. Now they decide to move it. Looks like the beach are well handled here. And the back row, our back line bobbles it. Beach defense there, passionate, up front fast. That's out on the full. So it looks like the Scottish player, what the Scottish want to do is they want to get into the red zone and then have and they just give it to their big guys. You've seen Mike Smith a number of times. Uh, we've seen Max Fryer a number of times. They just want to keep hitting these guys and keep denting these holes and softening up this defense and then start to move the ball wide. You notice the beach pack more people into their line out. This is the full one here. They're more confident in their line out and they want to do that so there's more Stop. space out wide for the backs to run in. And that's a great take by Andrew Denham. Watch Andrew Denham today. He's a dangerous player, oh, phenomenal he's runner. It already. He, he directs the, the back three really, really well. He's one of their danger players. Oh, Un unsuccessful by Max Fryer. The beach play advantage, they kick it away. There's nobody home. So no advantage. Careful, okay. Nice shot by Dylan, Dylan Young to put that over the heads of, um, of the Scottish to pin them down around their own 22. Seems like the beach are taking advantage of that slight breeze that they have in their favor. And uh, they are going to do that while they have it. I, I think you need to. Like, in, yeah. you know, on a day like this, it's such a strong opposition any edge that you can get you have to take advantage of that and i think if you can get a little bit of breeze and it's going to help you you know i'd, I'd take it too you can see once again the scottish going with a shorter line out only five people that seems to be their go-to uh, it's easier to win which is probably why they're going to that but the beach getting there anyway and Look ben shock takes it again there's twice now or there's had the same i'm surprised i thought that was knocked forward in the line they have the same bobble at the front of the line out and then uh, the hookers collected it. So okay. we've already seen so far that the Scottish line out uh, isn't as strong as the beaches. The beach have a great defense. The Scottish probably continue to, to try and go with the shorter line outs, which leaves less space for them to run in into the open field. Again, the beach going full line out here to the back. Mm. Oh, just, just a little long. It. That was almost perfect. Picked up by Scott Dunham. Dylan Young looks to move it. Dwyer. Lovely. They've got numbers if they can move it to the right now, but they don't need it. The saying is a try given. The beach have really turned it up here. They, they've showed what they're capable of. Again, they've, they've got all the right resources and all the right parts of the field running the right lines. Uh, champagne rugby, I think you can call it. I think it's, yeah, it's, it's a, a strong play here by Julian Alexander. Make sure he just, he just ducks down in there and just, just nudges over the line to dot down for the guys. Again, you can tell it's a very expansive game they want to play. But, and they're, they're, they're very happy to move the ball from sideline to sideline. But if there's an ability, if there's, if, there's a, if there's a gap anywhere that they can use it to, to bang it up with their big guys, that's exactly what they want to do. And then by the time they get to the breakdown, they're moving so forward so fast that anyway can pick and go here. And, uh, you know, the, the defense is just in shambles at this point. Yeah. Flags go up, so the beach add two more points to the score. They've really turned it around here and so far have dominated the last 10 minutes of the game. First 10 minutes were a bit of a rough start. 
So let's you. see what happens in the next 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah, I told you. That's just the jitters, right? they got to get that out of their system and stuff. Right now they've calmed down and ready to play a little bit of rugby. Just another day at the park playing some beautiful rugby. That's all it is. Do you think it's going to happen now? The beach are going to sustain that for the rest well, of the game? Well, I, I think I, – I don't know. I don't know. I think that there's going to be some changes made from uh, from the Scottish side. And ah, Remember, today, unlucky. rugby is the winner today. Would have been a different story, I think, if uh, the weather were wetter, if it were rainy, if the field were slower. You'd see the Scottish probably have an advantage with keeping it in the forwards. Looks like the very traditional five-man line for the uh, for the Scottish. Yeah. The two bookends, the one and three in the bookends, and then they go in the middle here. Max Farby making all the calls. They've got Caustic and March um, and Wainwright in the backfield, but it gets stolen again. This is going to be a problem for the Scottish in a big way if they don't figure out this line out. They might need to go down to a four-man or even three-man, which you really don't want to do. But they've got to find a way to oh, win that ball away. at the line out. They pull away. They pull away. You can't pull away. Looks like the beach are preparing to kick here. They put a lot of man into the ruck the and protecting Use the scrum it. half here. All inside. Puts up a contestable ball. There's three people coming down on McDonald, and he's sworn by beach players going backwards, and the ball is stripped. This is lovely work. That was a really nice contestable ball, and they get it back. Great stuff from the beach. They move it through the hands and the forwards. No, 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 no. Look at the numbers the out left for around. the beach. Look at the numbers out left for the beach. Dwyer's screaming for it now. Oh, it's too slow to come Wait. out. Too slow. The Scottish did well to slow that down, so. The beach need to reset and keep it with the forward to get the ball moving so that the backs have a little bit more dy dynamicism to work with. Ooh. I think that was Wayne right there. That's right. Out in the middle of the field. No, That's dangerous uh, when you see him running at you. Unlucky. And I wouldn't be surprised if that was seeing that tackle there from Wayne right in the middle of the field. You can't help it but get the jitters and think twice when the ball's coming your way. <laughs> There's going to be a scrum down for the Scottish. They're clearing a threat. They're clearing a threat. They so far have done pretty well with the scrums. It's more of a favorable attacking platform for them, it seems like, rather than the line out. So hopefully for them, they'll be able to assemble some degree of an attack here. Wayne right at the back, I suspect, if he gets good ball, you could see him picking from the back of the scrum and going right i was watching him practice this and warm up and going right where they have the back split for that reason it looks like he will have yep. support if he goes off right exactly cleaning up the scrum there this area of the game has been cleaned up quite a bit over the years there's actually a recent law change made with the, the hookers. They need to keep their front foot up until the scrum is set. Stuff like this used to go on for long periods of time. Sure. That's a clean strike so far. And Wainwright, again involved, moves it to the halfback. McDonald on the shoe. It's a messy ball. And they get it back. Scottish are in good tacking position here. They've That's decided to bunch their numbers closer into the ruck, and they continue to run in tight to the ruck rather than move it out wide. Ben Shock there takes it up, loses the ball, but it's collected. Little chip through, and they get it again. This is working well for them. The short chips could be another way for them to get back into back the game. Up. Again, the Scottish are very close in to the breakdown. Oh, they're Play too on. flat. The back line was too flat. That's why he had to elect to kick at this point. Not a bad kick, though. I think They've when Shane McGuire got the ball here at the back, when, it, when it, he pulled from that last breakdown, he wanted to move it to the left and recognize that uh, the players out there were just a little bit too flat for him, and that's why he had to elect to kick it and put it in the corner. Too flat, and I'll add to that that not uh, enough numbers either. Mm -hmm. They were all fully marked, and the beach probably had an extra player even. The Scottish are now going with a full um, lineout, of course, to defend the beach lineout, which has back been good, stellar so far good. today. The beach have no problem winning that and are setting up to clear their end. It's a tough angle for the scrum half here. 
Um, he nice gets shot. it out. Don't know how he made a, a decent amount of yardage there. That's a really impressive kick from the scrum half yeah, on a really sharp angle there. That matters a lot. The forwards love seeing that if their scrum half can get them out of trouble like that. It gives them a little bit of space. It gives them a little bit of breathing room, which is what we really need. I'm, I'm quite surprised he did that. It's a great box kick there by, by Dylan Young. I think this is the fifth lineup now for the Scottish. Again, going five. I don't think they've won one cleanly yet. The beach defense has been stellar. The beach aren't able to contest as much there, and that's won cleanly, but they aren't able to run anything wide off that. It's still uh, stayed within the forge with Fryer. Short ball here to the captain, Kostig. He punches it up nicely. It's coming back. They do need it faster if they want to be able to attack. The beach lineup is nice and flat. Lots of numbers out there. This is going to be tough for the Scottish to run into. That's Tom Aiken right there on the switch play, bringing it back inside. But I agree with you, Matt. I think the ball's a little bit too slow at the breakdowns for the Scottish. I think they want cleaner, faster ball to be able to move the ball and attack. There's Aiken taking it in. Big contact there. The beach player didn't get out of the way fast enough. So that's a penalty there again. It looks like it's Scott Dunham. Uh, that's two penalties for him at least. Uh, he found himself on the wrong side of the tackle. Back the clean out. And uh, now it's going to be a penalty to the Scottish. The only thing right now that are getting in the way of the beach really has been their discipline. Uh, the penalties are, are mounting up. Uh, everything else for them right now looks absolutely stellar. You got to go east or west, okay, Dunham? The Scottish, on the other hand, it's the lineout that's giving them problems. And the loose play, they aren't spreading out over the field and moving the ball around to try and disorient the, the Don't beach come defense. Don't the side. And no offsides, please. You guys have a warning on it down here. So the very traditional five-man line-out for the Scottish, the two bookends. Max Fryer in the middle, calling the shots. He calls for it. Great take. Bring it down the walking mall. They move the ball to the Don't back. Don't change your bind, five. Don't change your bind. Ben Saj has the ball. The forwards, the, the backs come in, 12, 13, 10, 11. Looking for the ball. Advantage is given for the offside. Chris Rhodes screaming for the ball. Now, now this should be a, this should be a card right here. This should be a yellow card. They were warned prior to coming down here in this line out that they do have a warning and no more penalties. They've said this twice now. I would not be surprised if someone has to get sent off here for 10 minutes. Back up, guys. Back up. One second. Guys, step back, please. Okay, let's listen to hear what the referee has to say about this. Absolutely. The ball bring is going it. towards the try line. I've got number five collapsing it. Do you have anything different? No. Nope. You have no number? I have no number. And you haven't seen a collapse? I haven't seen a collapse from my side, no. Okay, thank you. All right, captain. Number five going into the try line. It's He's getting sent now. off. That's Bart. Bart Duran. No. Duran has been with the beach for five years. Uh, he played in the Spanish Division de Honor for, uh, the, and also in the Federal 1 League in France. So he's got some experience. I think stuff like that, collapsing the mall, is a little bit more acceptable in uh, the French leagues. Uh, but right now, it's put the beach into a tough situation here. Might be letting the Scottish back in. Not surprisingly, they've gone to the scrum. Up, you Absolutely, you go for a scrum at this point. They were down a second row. I would do the exact same thing. Not oh, on a, not a no, I, I take that back. They're going for a line instead. They did win the last one cleanly here and were able to drive a nice mall from it. And uh, you've got you you to go to four Max Dwyer. Yeah, Max Fryer here. That's the guy. Yeah. He's saying it's not straight. It's just not working for the Scottish today. The, uh, the numbers for their line out, it looks to be about 50% or less. And, uh, you know, Miles, I got to say, I, I think, I, I think you, you're right there. They should have taken the scrum. It's just a more reliable platform for them to attack from. It, it, the the lineouts have been good. They just haven't been clean. But I think that when you're down to second row, I, I, you know, a big yeah. second row, when he's just been sent off. He's going to get 10 minutes. I, w I would take the scrum at that point. Yeah, drive it over the line. Beach line out here on their own five. Go to. That's a clutch line out, and the beach lose it. That's that's unfortunate. 
you know, that's well done, Aiden Connington. Well done, Aiden Connington. The beach line has been so solid all game, but it just let them down there, just off the fingertips of Scott Dumman in the second row. And, and Connington, again, the hey. Ireland uh, under-19 player, that. takes advantage of that and barrels over the line. Johnny on the spot right there. He, he recognized that the ball was going to be a little bit long. He, he pounced through there, jumped and caught the ball after it was, after it was, tipped, off, uh, after it was tipped in the line, and then simply fell over the line and dots it down. They get five points. Now they're back in this thing. You know, this seems to be a game of uh, 10 minutes so far. First 10 were Scottish, second 10 were the beach, and the last 10 seem to be more so Scottish, where they've been camped out in the beach end for the most part. Scores now 8-12. If we hit this kick, they'll be within two points. Not an easy one, though. This certainly isn't guaranteed. Remember you mentioned at the beginning of the game the wind is in their face just a little bit, right? It could yeah. affect the kick. And it does. And it does. Still. So you can tell that it was online. At the very last moment, that wind came swooshing in and pushed it off to the side, pushed it off the right upright. There you go. So still four-point advantage for the Bommy Beach. They're slowing the game down. They're taking their time getting back. They do need to collect themselves and reestablish that form. If they're able to hang on to that structure and maintain their composure, win their set pieces, I think it's going to be pretty tough to beat the beach today. However, they've shown a lack of discipline, and that's let the Scottish back in. Seems to be the theme so far. The Scottish have found a way to capitalize on those errors by the beach. They'd like to go deeper. McDonald collects the ball, danger man. Looks to be held up. He's been solid Pretty all dangerous. day. He's been absolutely solid but all brought day. Brought to ground. The Scottish have it. Look like they are going to keep running it up. Probably moving to a better position for the scrum half or yes. the fly half to kick. Wait. It's Charles Doak right there. But they're electing to run here. This is inspiring stuff. 13 blue offside. 13. And that was Tomala Roosh offside. And yet another penalty for the beach. Again, that's the only thing that's keeping the Scottish in the game. Undisciplined play is, is, is not going to do it. That's seven penalties so far, I believe. I might have missed one. But it's that undisciplined play. You can say again, Miles, it's the, it's the grand final. They're really passionate about this. There's some jitters. They're just going to take every inch that they can. Once in a while, you're going to step over the offside line. Uh, step over the rock, get off your feet. But the, the beach do need to compose themselves if they want to stay in here. Yeah, you, you can't keep giving up penalties. It's just you're, you're giving them opportunities to take advantage of that, put points on the board. Again, not clean. It's collected by the beach. The beach is setting up, angling the backs. They're probably going to punch it up with the forwards once, hopefully get some momentum, and then they'll likely go wide. Ten. Connor McLaughlin. Slow coming back. Slow. I think this might be the first penalty. That's right. Oh, they'd like to go quick. They really want to speed this up. There's Scott Dunham. The ball. Going to move to the forwards here. Try and get some move. Oh, they're moving to the back line. That's a big, big stick right there. Big crunch big there. Tackle. They want to slow down Stephen Dwyer, that money man moving the ball around. Wide to the backs. That's some fancy stuff. One arm feed off in the tackle. Denzel, dangerous he has outside backs. He has one already. Boris is ball, lightning Nick. fast. You got to watch out. Put the ball down. Okay, I think, we, I think we have hands in the ruck at this point. And that really frustrated Dylan Young here. He, he yelled at the referee and they ended up knocking it on. This is why Mo had to inside. blow it up. And he's called. He's called. He's going to call the That's team good. over. 13. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a professional foul here. Okay. Once you're done, we'll, we'll, we'll let me give you the opportunity to talk. Okay, so you're coming in, obstructing in front of the ball. You're coming in third man in. When there's a scrum issue, the 13 is coming in. I just need you to make sure you're playing your game. Yes, sir. And you can't come in and slap the ball, cause a knock-on for number nine, yes, when you're under pressure here. Okay? okay. Sir, Mate, just start yeah, playing sir. the game of rugby, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. So, he, so he gives him a warning. Knock-on intentional. I mess it here. Um, and I, I think that's the right call here. I think... You know, I, I know I just said earlier that he probably deserves a card, but 
Um, I think that's the right call. I mean, we want, no one wants to really be sent off in this game, uh, even though the Beach already have a player that is sent off right due to n numerous fouls, n numerous infractions. We want to just see open rugby and let them play. You can see that, like you know, when Beach is on the front foot, you can't be doing stuff like that by slapping the ball away from the scrum half to get you know just because you're under pressure. You, you simply can't do that. You have to stop it in a different way. Make a big make a big tackle, cause a turnover. Do whatever you have to do, but you can't do that. Beach full line out again. Let's see if they elect to drive. They don't win it cleanly, so they're going to have to ram it up the middle there. Thought they lost it, but no, they've held on to it. Julian, he has one already. They're just going to keep going up in the forwards. Again, when you're That's in this part of the field, all you need to do is make inches, and then you can score. The defense doesn't necessarily right, need yep, to make yep. a mistake, so they're piling the resources Back. in there. Use the try line. They still do have numbers out to the right. I think they're very happy and just Boris hanging out the just do their thing here. They got Boris wait on the wing too. Short. There we go. There we go. Well, it wasn't Boris, but it was the person standing next to him. Very clever. Owen Lovato, he gets one. So what happened there is the beach were banging it up, nice and tight, really short passes next to the ruck, and then just one long pass from the scrum half out to Lovato, who's standing out near the touch line, barrels over the line. Again, great strategic work from the beach. They are being very strategic in today's game. The Scottish, however, finding a way to scrap and stay in the game, take advantage of the beach's errors. And also with some clever little chips, they've been able to recollect those and make inroads into the beach defense. Beach right now winning 17-8. to eight. This is a tough kick near the left touch line. For a right kicker, this is a little bit easier than if it was on the right side of the field because the ball will curve to the left for a right-footed kicker, which makes the goal post bigger. It doesn't look like it has the legs. It's not going to make it, so the score stays at 17 to 8. Two minutes and a half, guys. Can we get a confirmation? I think the referee was saying there was two and a half minutes yeah, left in the bin. Two minutes, guys. And that's until Duran can come back on the field. Okay, three and a half and a half. Okay, thank you. Let me know. Two minutes to the bin, and then three minutes to the, to the halftime. Nice short kick, so the beach weren't able to boost, and therefore not get a clean ball. The Scottish, Over. one of the first times they've really moved it wide here, and they've got an advantage. There's I hear, and no, 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 that could have been a penalty for the beach for slapping down the pass, but the referee says it's fine. Again, the Scottish elect to keep it in tight around back the ruck. The, the beach make him pay for that. Barrel them back into the ruck. This is slow ball for the Scottish. There's not much they can do with this. You see, the beach don't even want to commit to these breakdowns. You can tell they yeah. do this fan out defense, so they have more people available at the, the breakdown to make tackles. Whereas if you look at the Scottish, they need to commit more to the breakdown, and it burns up those resources. Some fancy play there. Aiken able to get the ball away shoulder. with a backhand out of the tackle. The Scottish. That's a high tackle there. Connor McLaughlin got him around the neck. They call that that um, seatbelt seat belt tackle. tackle, yeah. Scottish take it quick. This is their game, keeping it tight, banging it up close to the ruck. Pick and go, Another pick and pick drive. And it's driven it. back. Obvious, this is where the beach have tended to make errors. Oh, wow. Mike Great Smith. Run there. Mike Smith yet yeah, again. This Smith guy again. is all over the field today. You don't see that usually from a tight head prop. Usually all their energy is taken up in the scrums, but he's been <laughs> oh, all over guy. the place. Wayne Wright, the arrows player there. It's going to be a danger man today. Another fastball. This is what exactly what they can't do. They cannot slow the ball down at this point of the game. You have to keep going fast and keep attacking. There's got to be a runner coming off, the, off this breakdown right now, and everyone is just standing around. Big double tackle there from the beach. That was massive. But the beach have to rally here. The Scottish do continue to make inroads. The game's been effective for no, them. No, 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 no. It hasn't been super pretty, but it's been working. You can see the pressure here. This is going to be tough for the beach to get out of. Maybe they're trying to draw another penalty from the beach. They already have one man down, right? Away! 
Yeah, Let's try given. I think that's. I think that's Mike Smith. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure, folks. I'm not sure. I, I can't get a number just yet. Honestly, I'm gonna watch. Trying to confirm who that was. You guys, you guys are picking along so cool, so low. The hacks have an opportunity to tackle, okay. so they come in with a shoulder, which is rugby, okay. and there's an arm there for me. I'm gonna oh, keep watching. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm talking wider than that. You had an advantage on that. Andrew Swales. Just in general, like I've had two on me, and I'm not picking from those yeah, yeah. from the rack, right? Do you know what okay. I mean? So it's like one out. Okay, I'll watch for it. Yeah. Thank Thanks, buddy. No, 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 no. keep playing. It's so an interesting point that the refs making there, because of the style of play that the Scottish are employing, which is pick and go, pick and drive from the base of the ruck. Mm -hmm. They are, they do have a really good body position. Most of the players are very low, and uh, it does make it a lot easier to make ground. What the referee was saying is that there needs to be the opportunity, a fair contest for the ball, and so the players need to be able to have the ball exposed and make it available to the beach to compete for it. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. So look at the score now, 17-13. The Scottish scored right at the half. That yeah. is absolutely key. Yes. They're now still back in the game. There's only two points in it. Sure. If they don't score, um, particularly at that time, there's now more of a stretch going into halftime, and it's a lot more difficult, especially psychologically, yeah. to go into half with that. But right now, there's only two points in it. They're, uh, they're both in the game. It's anyone's game right now. Uh, so the Scottish showing that in the championship minutes, they can really turn up and make something happen when they need to. You know, I, we're seeing two contrasting styles of play here, right? The beach want to be very wide, very expansive, and you could tell that um, the, the Scottish just want to get into that red zone and then just are very happy to keep banging it up with these guys that you keep talking about at the very beginning of the game because all those guys have just been making such an impact, and it's working for them. It's working for both teams. I think there's going to be some adjustments that need to be made, on the Scottish side, I think they need quicker ball. They simply can't have like stale ball, especially when you're in when you're that close to the to the goal line. It's a lot easier for the beach to regroup defensively. On the beach side, I think they still want to they still want to keep it wide, but they still want to clean up their set pieces and the discipline. It's a discipline that's doing to them. They can't afford to have any more players being sent off. It's a two point game at this time. Guys have to they have to buckle down and make their sticks and allow things to happen, but. You can't, you can't take any more penalties. Discipline, discipline, discipline. Small adjustments should be made. These guys are still playing their game, their style of rugby for both teams. But I think the second half is just going to be just as exciting as the first half. Totally, I agree. And the Scottish have the win now. Again, it's not a ton, but maybe it'll make a two-point difference. Well, I, think of it this way, Matt. The, you know, the two points was actually made when they missed the, con when they missed the conversion, right? Yeah. That's the win that made the difference. Yeah. We have a tie ball game at halftime. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm totally with you on the pace of the Scottish game. If they want to play that close game, pick and go, pick and drive from the base of the ruck, why not speed it up? Get more players in there and just, just speed up the rapidity of the game and how often you pick up the ball and move the breakdown. Sure. Um, it's already frustrating the beach. I can tell you from experience how frustrating that is to try and defend against a game like that because there's not much happening. There's not much opportunity in open field to make a big stick sure. to turn over the ball. And so you can see this with the beach. And again, we've all experienced this before. Frustration gets the better of you. Right. And when you try to turn over that ball, um, it, it, it's a lot easier to, to step over the line, fall off your feet in the ruck, get offside, and, and, and get a penalty. Sure. And so that's what's been happening. I think if the Scottish are able to speed up the pace of the game, build the phases, They'll be able to draw more Absolutely. of those penalties from the beach Absolutely. and get them, uh, suck them into to playing that style of game that the Scottish are playing. On the flip side, if the beach can keep the ball, they haven't had a ton, but when they have it, they're, man, they're, they're moving explosive. it all over the they're place. Explosive. They're explosive. They are dynamic. Uh, they, can, they can really do some, some pretty special things with the ball. Let's see. That's why they play the game. That's exactly right. it. Ready for second half.
Sounds good. Guys, this is what we've been using all day. I don't know what to do. Sure. Are we okay to use a match ball? Like, I don't know. Is there a Gilbert sponsor issue here? That's a fucking flat. Flat? Yeah, let's just use the other one. Okay. Hey, get the balmy one up. No, let's get that one on. Let's go. That one, yeah. Let's go. All right, looks like we're ready to set, start it off for the second half. Okay, guys. Stay sharp. Stay sharp. Be beach kicking off here. They do have the win in their face. I suspect they'd be going a little bit deeper. And they look like uh, they do just that. To the danger man again. Who opts to run an open field, but the beach do get him down. Nice and clean. The beach are fanning out. It looks like the Scottish are opting to kick here, but no. They run it up again with Smith. That's Mike Smith again. I'm telling you, this guy is a somebody. And again, he's not that big for a tight head prop, and you don't expect that guy to do much more usually than the scrum. There's a Scottish again going with that short chip kick, trying to recollect it, but it goes with the beach this time. Oh, it looks like they spill it. That's a messy ruck. So the Scottish do find a way to make it work again with that short game, short chips, short pick and goes they are on their own end now and they're opting to go wide here and they have Wainwright a dangerous runner nifty handoff there and the Scottish are out wide I think for only the second time in the game and they're making good stuff of it still on his going. feet I believe is McDonald making good inroads down the field the run up again short with Smith phenomenal uh, pound for pound player making great inroads into the beach defense the beach are in trouble here this is a great start by the Scottish Great running, that's the captain, Caustic. And the Scottish have come out in the second half with a whole lot of energy. And look, they're filling the field more. It seems like they've made a, a concerted effort no, he's on the ball. to open up their game a little bit more. Keep the back line out. Again, another little cheeky chip kick. But it goes into the hands of Boris. He's able to mark it, which means they can get a free kick from their own end in the 22. That but wind, that, that that's did. the wind that they have to deal with because that ball didn't go anywhere. It died right here in the 40. And it's Boris, great tackle. He was the one who marked it and he's up there stopping the runner. Here's Ben Sack. He's carried a few ball, been effective today. You do like to see that from the hooker. He's kind of like another back rower. Oh, uh, dangerous stuff here with the opposite winger. Jeps yeah, yeah. taking a run in there. The beach slowing it down. Wait! And the Scottish get nice clean ball. They are looking to play wider here, it looks like. Nice flat Face. pass there Back from up. the scrum half. Rhodes out to the forward pack. And, two blue offside. and again, the Palmy Beach concede another penalty in <laughs> their own the rent zone. They've got to be more disciplined if they want to stay in this game. I mean, I'd, I'd probably like just to take a drop goal right here if you're gonna if you have the penalty. Yeah. Dangerous runner there, Denham hasn't had a ton of ball today. The Scottish do want to get that more to him. Yes. Japs, another dangerous runner. The back three are getting involved still in the tight play. Still playing advantage. Another flat pass. Oh wow, they're going wide here. Phenomenal tackle there from Lagas Lagaska. Great work to bring the man down one Thomas on one. It looks like try given. It's a different but Scottish team the second we, half. We've seen a completely different team here. They're still employing a lot of the short stuff that they did in the first half, but they've decided to open up even when they get into the red zone, and it's worked very effectively. Really good stuff from the Scottish. The beach uh, now are in trouble because it's clear that the Scottish have another attacking option available. You know, I totally agree with that. Like, you know, the, I thought, you know, we didn't know what kind of adjustment they were going to make, and obviously they decided because they have the win, they're going to start attacking. And, and we saw exactly what, what the Beach were doing in the first half, going from sideline to sideline. You know, even when they were inside the 15-yard line, they have an opportunity to move it inside to their, to their big guys. They, they elected to move it wide, and now look at the difference here. They're scoring here in the corner. I mean, it's a totally different game. If this is the kind of game they're going to be playing in this half, I think the Beach are really in, to, in for it now. 
under pressure, that's Agreed. Just like that one. And they conceded a penalty down here. Yeah. Right? If, if they blew that up, that could have resulted in yet another card for the beach. Agreed. Two more points to come here. They could stretch it to a five-point lead. He's got the legs. Uh, it just sails wide. So there's going to be still the three-point difference here. The Scottish Steve. now leading. Steve, your offsides are killing you. Your offsides are killing you. Yeah, see the referee back, knows mate. it. That was number two on the goal line there. Just everybody take a step back, eh? Yeah. That, that's that's got to be like his fifth warning of the game. Like eventually he doesn't even give any more warning. He just starts giving out... Uh, giving out cards. Beach go down the middle of the field, deep kick. Ooh, Ooh high go. tackle. Go Look at this. He's He's got a, that's an automatic card right there. He's sent off. Yeah. Peter Vandersteen. Yeah, you can't do that. The head is sacred. Rugby's been very careful with uh, stiffening those laws. Anything above the shoulders, anything remotely malicious, you're going to get sent off the field. Um, I think that was a yellow card. If yes. It, if it had been um, a charge right to the head, I mean, that would have been a red card. Absolutely. I, I think that's the right call right there. The amount of penalties that the beaches have have, um, have endured, and then oh, to have that he was just running up from the kickoff advising them that, you know, you're, you're offside. Your number two was offside. They kicked the ball off, and he gets a high tackle. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not mad at Mo for making this decision. You have to do that. There's enough. You've got to the point now. I've, I've warned you guys enough. i got to start taking action, and that's what he's doing. Jonesy, he's coming the middle here. Come the middle. Yeah. It, it's it's killing the beaches Jonesy, is, the is the penalties. Jonesy, find the middle. They've got magnitudes more penalties Jonesy, than the Scottish the do. That's the big difference Thank here. It's, it's easier to move one person than seven. Come on, man. Scottish again going with the five man line out. Scott Dunham is going to try and upset this from the beach. Thank you. Good movement there. They win a good ball. And the new Scottish team, boom, run it up there with Wainwright. That's a dangerous player I think to that's have in the middle. That's what of the they field. wanted to do in the first half. Agreed. You know, and they just—I don't think they had the opportunity to. They just didn't get clean enough ball at the line out. But now they get clean enough ball, and they can do that. The Scottish need to move the ball wide there. They had the numbers out there. The Scottish player chose to take no, it into no, contact. No, 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 no! Good timing. Good timing. There's again Smith. No tackle. Not no the tackle. biggest player in the field, but he is packing a punch. He's making a difference here. He's getting around the field. He looks like a back rower out there. Guy's out of control. He's out of control right now. Ooh, that look forward. Thank you very much. Forward pass to Ah here there. The other center from Aiken. They're going to turn it over here. Uh, Scottish do look like they have really good structure here, don't they, Mark? Absolutely they do. Absolutely they do. And, and now, now that they have more structure, there's more options. Like, they can go short. They can go wide, right? They can go medium. Like, it, it makes it much more difficult on the beach defense to decide who we're going to cover, who's going where. In the first half, they didn't worry about the guys going wide because the ball was never going that far. But because it's staying in, like, now they have to worry about that, you know, because th there's just so many options here. I didn't know if they were going to go short there, to be honest with you. I had no idea when it was, was going to go short. I thought it actually they were going to skip that guy and go Come behind on. him like they did, in the fr when they did when they scored the try down here at the beginning of the second half. Yeah, they've got options all over the place now. And especially with Wayne Wright running the middle of the field there off the line out. Crunch. That is a dangerous attacker. He's, he's, he's a, ba he's a bad man. Yeah. That's a bad man right there. Set. <laughs> Beach put in here. Use it, use it, use it. Scrum collapses, but the referee says play on. Eight pick going right. Not the cleanest passing. The Beach still making some good inroads there. Ten back meters up, off that up. scrum. They've got some good momentum. Going to hit it up. Nope, they're going to move they it like wide here. It They've got the numbers. Yeah, they want to pull it. This is the Scottish have them marked, but now we've got the lightning man at wide here. Good tackle. Stable ruck. They're going to win that, and the beach continue to move the ball around when use they've it, got it. it. Yeah, but you see how fast the ball is when they have the breakdown here? Yep. They're able to get it, and then they're able to move it right away. Yeah. And Dwyer's, oh, he goes out on the full. Went out on the full. Got held yeah. up in the, in the, with the wind. 
But you can see that. the difference there. They, when the ball, when when it breaks down there, like Dylan's able to get the ball out, go to Stephen Dwyer right away, and they can decide what they want to do with it. Right? Agreed. So many options with speed. I'm not sure that was the right call by McGuire there. Uh, here, the beach had good shape there. They were moving it around. They could have kept running a little bit more. He did see some space there, and if he had executed the kick a little bit better, there might have been something. But poor execution, it didn't work out. This is that um, the five-man line with the bookends here? Yeah. Likely off the top, sent it to Wayne right up in the middle. If they can get clean ball. Agreed. Right? If they can get clean ball. Max Fryer, number four, you like, you know, that's, that's been the guy in the line out. I know they, they switched spots now. You can see that Aiden Connington is now in the middle. Max is playing the fourth position in the line. They go to the front. Not super clean. They can't take it off the top. Didn't hit him at the top of the jump. But they do have it still. It does go to Wayne Wright. Punches it up. The beach are able to contain him. That's tough to do. And they drive him backwards. No, they, they can't control him. Look at that. He but still gets to the ground. He still comes out of a <laughs> quick ball. Yeah. Look at the guy's magic. And he has clean, he presents clean ball. Yeah. Yeah. Very good player. Scottish here, third just phase. Just, just ugly right now. It's time to clean yeah, it up. That's they why do, they got to kick it away. They do need to kick it. They ran yeah. out of resources. And now the Scottish go out in the full. They got on the full. Not yeah. a great day for the kickers. Yeah. Now there is a win, but it's not, it's not gusting. It's not huge. And, uh, the kickers are not executing here like yeah. they need to. Yeah, you know, I bet that was his fourth option. <laughs> I think that he got, we, there's a couple of things they wanted to do, a couple of plays they wanted to run off that. And because it was back and forth and ugly and people flopping all over the ball, yeah. he decided, you know what, I got to get rid of this. Yep. And, uh, you know, he, he probably didn't even want to put that much weight onto the kick. But because the, he, they have the wind at the back, it just carried it out of bounds. Yep. Yeah, that's right. And that's, that's good work by the uh, beach defense just to... Uh, try and get the Scottish flustered and not give them clean ball and force them to kick it away. <sighs> not a clean yeah, line out there. Timing the was off there. They timing didn't coordinate their timing well. Yep. And they might not get the ball back here. Yeah, it's a turnover. So the Scottish doing well in the scrappy part of the yep, game. Yep, yep, yep. The beat's driving them back, though. The Scottish do need to collect here. Ooh. They do think they have options on. They're going to go wide. They do have numbers out there. Good defense here. At the end of the day, like they've lost 10 meters on that. Tom LaRouche, thank goodness he's still in the field. But his ankle's okay. Beach defense there, pressing up. Scottish are keeping it. Caustic running it up there. Captain too slow. for the Scottish. It is too slow coming back. The Scottish opt to go yeah, wide. They've they got to kick it away now. That's that's not a bad kick. They, yeah. they, they got to kick it away, but no, they did end up no, making... No. Over 30 meters there, it looks like. Sure, but you, you're telling me they weren't looking at ball in hand there? Yeah. I mean, like you had you had um, Marcello that was screaming through there. Even if you went behind him, which they did, you still had one more player outside of you, and then you, the opt to kick. You pick up the 30 yards, which is great. But, uh, you know, we still want they still want to attack, and you're, the only way you're going to score tries is if you have ball in hand. That's right. That's right. One thing you could say, too, is that the Scottish now have options. They're moving the ball around. They had the option to keep running. They had the option to kick, too. Got a good result. I agree with you. They probably could have had a better one there if they had kept it in hand. The beach win a clean one. Nice flat ball. This is good stuff. That's what you want there. Yeah, Beautiful line out off the top, clean to a good runner in the middle. Yeah. Uh, and then to follow up with that is not great. But let's see if they can uh, gather themselves, get structured. They look pretty good here. They're not committing a ton of people. Here's Toma. Great player. The back three beach there all in the same corridor making damage. Oh, says you're killing the ball. And then he spikes it away. You got to be very careful there, Dylan Young. Okay, okay. Very seven. careful. That's a good call by the referee. It's so easy when you get to a breakdown. When, you're, when the player goes down and you get to a breakdown and you, and you just you lose your feet and you fall on the ball. It is so easy to do that. And they have to make that call. I thought it was a great call by Mo. Agreed. The, the beach are playing dynamic rugby. What that means, the they don't they don't commit a lot of people to their rock, but what that means is you need to be efficient. You guys stay up, 11. Stay up, mate. See, there he is. He yeah. says it to him. You need to be efficient with the way you now, operate in the I'll, rock I'll when you get face. there. Yeah, good. And hold your feet. Thank you. Stay here. I think what he did is he, he sealed the ball and then fell off his feet. Sure. A grand, yeah, penalty. Scottish again losing that line out. They need to clean that up. They're uh, 
that might have been a missed call. The beach in their own half still running here. Tomat. That's, an, that's a knock on. No, no, no. See, it's an attempt to catch the ball. That's yeah, a good knock on there. Yeah, it's a knock on. It's an attempt to catch the ball. My take on the Scottish lineout is that when they have multiple movements in the lineout, that uh, the timing is off and they don't get clean ball. But when they decide to go, um, when they when they decide to go to, to Aiden Connington in the middle, or if, if he's the guy that's getting it without the movement around and stuff, if he's going to take it in the middle, or if he's going to shuffle a little bit to the back, that I find they're probably the most successful there. It, it may seem I don't I don't know. It's just the timing's a little bit off, and they might get bumped or something. It could be anything, but. I find that they're most successful when they when they have that kind of movement. Yeah, bread and butter. Do the simple things right. Five. Beach here. Still got the ball. Set. The scrums have been decent. At the back. At the back. Bit messy there. They do get it out. And the beach opt to run. And they're moving the ball wide as usual. Traditional play from the beach here to go absolutely wide, right? Again, Barisco run. Do. And looks like they're hitting it up nicely with the forwards. That's great shape that they have right there. Good ball. The halfbacks are really communicating well. Now, now look well. at the numbers at here. This. Yeah, they're really moving the ball around the field and getting that Scottish defense disorganized. Now the beach. Oh, that was a good read by Aiken there. He wasn't offside. He really shot up quickly. That's Absolutely. a great read by Aiken, because that's the fourth time that the Beach have run that play in that sequence. Yeah. It only makes sense that Aiken is, is, uh, is going to come off the line yeah. and read that they're going to they're going to pass in behind that player. Yeah. And it's going to go to you know that's it's a great play. I think it's a great play. It's a great read by him. Yeah. They could shut down that wide Beach attack by doing more of that rush defense. Yes. By uh, the two centers in particular. But it is a gamble. Massive gamble. It's a it is a gamble, and it paid off on this time, but it may not pay off the next time. Because. If the beach do move it quickly past that guy, they got a whole lot of real estate to run into. That's true. Or if he gives us on the short ball, then you've, you've messed up with this, your defensive line structure. You have a massive gap in the middle, which only gets exploited. Exactly. Crowd's really getting into it now. 16 minutes in the second half. McCormick Cup Final, 2022 edition. First one back from COVID. Now it's the beach going with a short line out. The Scottish pancake it, which is not a collapse mall. That's legal. Good knowledge of the laws there. Again, the beach opt to move wide. Shoot defense by Aiken. It works again for him. Great work. Really disrupting that wide tack. Boris could have moved it there, but he was under a lot of pressure. Scottish being really scrappy here. That's great stuff. And they get the ball here. They could have kicked it there. It was wide open. There was no one from back there from the beach. The Max Fryer. No ball, no ball, no ball. Beecher scrambling here, and the Scottish have good shape. This is nice again. Smith, he's been all over the park. Back, That's my back. guy today. I can't believe Get he's back. in the back row. That's my guy today. Scottish have good shape. They've got a full back line set up here. Andrew Swales, he scored the try earlier. The Fords are still doing good stuff, making good inroads. It's too slow. And they go wide. Aiken here, still going. Uh, unlucky, it was on there if that pass had gone to hand. Jeff's there, could have had a good chance of scoring a try wait, wait. there. Use a little it. bit scrappy there from the Scottish. I agree with you, Miles. I, I would like to see the Scottish moving that ball a little bit faster. Right here at the breakdown, now the boom, gone. Ro it's gotta go. Rowe just being a little bit slow there. He could he could really pick it up there. Not, <laughs> not, not quite sure what Jeps is going I, for I don't there. think he wanted He, he had a couple he, of ideas at he, once. He faked himself out yes, there. Yes, he did. Now the beach. Cam Having Morgan. Having a chance to do something here. Now they're slowing it down. I think that uh, this phase has been going on for a little while, so they, they want to slow it down. They just want to get down the park. They might be a bit disorganized themselves. That's what happens when these phases go a little bit no, longer. No, he's in the trunk. That's why. Get a bit, uh, get a bit unstructured. Massive Big hit. There. Tackle That's by lovely. Jason but Park. Feed off. The Scottish are still away, though. Look, they're making it work. This is good open field play. And they still it's got Rory, the ball. This Rory been, Conway. This has been a long phase. Dangerous. Aiken breaking through here. Oh, he's why? He's been really strong. Why? Oh, my goodness. I think there's a sniper the in the The sniper park. got him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is great stuff from the Scottish. They've come back. They can, sc they can score here. There you go. There's Marcello. 
they, is they, Wainwright back? They've really shown a different style of play here. They're, they're, they're spreading out. Once they were in the red zone before, they were all packed in around the ruck, but now they're spread out. Beat. Looks like they're opting to slow it down here, yeah, collect themselves. Not a bad idea. A lot of tired bodies here. I think we may be on the 10th phase here. Yeah. We've been going for Beat. a couple of minutes, and this is exhausting. Uh, and uh, you can tell the beach there are making soft tackles Give now. They're just trying to wait, find a way to stop this phasing. There's Smith again. He's he's almost there. He could have reached, but that would have been a gamble. That's a penalty the there. Beach give up another penalty. Yes. The, <laughs> he's killing the ball. It's tough to do. You're exhausted. The opposition to have made 50 meters. Connor McLaughlin built it over phases. Miles, what would you do here? You've got a penalty. Scrum or take the points. I mean, there is. As a, as a forward, I want to scrum. <laughs> as a forward, I want to scrum. Shout out to my man, Big Calf. I know he's watching this one. You know, but I think the idea here is that you, you have to take your points. And you have to, because uh, there is no rugby tomorrow. You, it's a, it's a one-score game, yeah. right? Yeah, there's three points in it right now. They kick this. Then uh, the beach have to score a converted try. This is clearly in the league. This is clearly not the same club that we saw in the first half. Yeah. Right. So they know that they kick the ball here. Let's get the points, and then we get the ball back again. Exactly. And then let's see if we can build some more like we did. They just put together 12 phases. Was able to walk the field, draw a penalty, and now score. Yeah. And yet another penalty for the beach. Yeah. It's great stuff. Uh, I think it's fair to say that this half so far has belonged to the Scottish. They've changed their style of play, and uh, they've really shown the beach how to play their own style of game. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's showing on the scoreboard now. Uh, the oh, we missed! That's a live ball. That it wasn't a sitter, but he really should have. Uh, he should have got that one. Um, so now they've gone into the red zone and don't have the guaranteed points, okay. although the Scottish still do have the ball and they're still making the inroads. And they draw another penalty. Yep. And they're, uh, they're just going to take the penalty. So kick that away, knowing that they'd have the penalty here and get another chance to Steve. kick that penalty again. Steve, the next one's going to go. Okay. So that, that's the second warning now in the second half. And that's Mo saying. Ball carrier, leave him. Don't pull him. No, oh, I'm sorry. Next one's going to go. He spoke for you. Yes, he did. I think he has you mic'd up so he can hear you talking <laughs> as well. This one, I'd have to say, is a sitter. This should be guaranteed three points. It's almost directly in front of the posts. Now six point game. The beach have a quarter left in the game to go to get that margin back. They have not been in it really so far. They've only strung together a few phases of good open rugby. They need to get their discipline back. They need to get the ball back and play some expansive rugby. Uh, knock contest. on from the beach. They didn't get the ball back. To knock forward in the kickoff. Looks like we may have a man down. Come off. 18 minutes. 18 minutes. Good. So if I'm counting Come correctly, on. I'm seeing 14 penalties from the beach so far. Mm -hmm. It's tough to win any game if you're conceding that many penalties. Whereas the Scottish, I think I've only conceded three. That's a big difference maker. Crouch! Fine! Ready? Set! Stay on! That's a good scrum from the Scottish. As expected, Wainwright picks it up, makes so some good strong. yardage. Very strong runner. You can see why he's one of the professionals from the Scottish team. It's pinched by Dylan Young. Tackle! Tackle! Says it's a tackle. It means it's, uh, it's a ruck there. The ball's got to move. Unlucky. It's just not happening for the beach. 
They're not able to string it together, not able to get composed. When they have their chances, they're not taking it. This is, this is a different uh, team in the second half here, unfortunately. We're coming up to the 15 minute mark here and the Beach need to find a way to compose, compose themselves, get the ball back, play their game. Crouch. Scottish feed here. The scrum's been strong so Five. far. Again, don't be surprised if Wayne Wright picks it and goes to the right. Set. Surefire way to make some good yardage. The beach challenge out a bit, and sure enough, Wayne Wright goes, but he oh, drops. He That's the very ball. uncharacteristic of him. Very uncharacteristic. Is that is that what it takes now for the? the that might be the the page turner here, right? For for the beach. Yeah. The beach crowd are really getting into it, trying to get their guys back into the groove. The beach scrum has not been as strong as the Scottish here. It's been a little bit messy ball for the scrum half. Dylan Young, he's had to fight for a little bit there so they don't get as clean ball for the back line. So if the beach forwards here can really focus on this one, Crouch. keep it square, maybe even wheel it to the right a little Five. bit. It would be a nice attacking platform for this pretty stellar beach back line. Yeah, it's easier said than done. <laughs> you can tell I wasn't a forward. That's a nice scrum. That's a great scrum. Yeah, and they did indeed wheel it to the right. Nice clean ball for the scrum half. This is good stuff. Tom nice LaRouche, nice run through the middle, makes nice yardage. No, 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 on the ball. He's on the ball. And this is great shape of the beach. They've got options on both sides. That's a little bit too slow from Dylan Young, though. He's a bit indecisive. Agreed. They need to pick it up there. Great lines here from the runners. Again, th this is this is the more like the beach. Going fast. Back. Back! Lost it there, but no knock on. So still open play here. No advantage run to in, the Scottish. So they can't kick it out in the full. The Scottish are going to try and run it here. That's fine. Looks like it went backwards. Back up, back up, the crowd back up. are really getting into it. They know that it's time here. It's a close game. The Beach have got to turn it up. The Beach defense is a little bit clustered around the ruck there, and there's not many resources out wide. You can see why the Scottish went wide. Penalty to the Beach. They're not rolling away. So that is Extra roll, holding lucky on. for the Beach. Good discipline from them. The ball carrier there from the Scottish took it into the tackle. Yes. The penalty back then. Did an extra roll held on the ball too much. Dylan, here. Looks like he's injured too. Rory Conway. Can we just walk you over, Sky, a little bit? Just walk you this way. Thanks. Here we go. Steve, let's go. Beach are going to go for the lineup here. Again, their lineup in a more solid attacking platform for them. Hasn't been super stellar. Put the ball right there on the 10-yard uh, line. For the beach again, they need a converted try in order to get back into the game. I can see Tomala LaRouche here on. is favoring his ankle. It's questionable how much longer he's going to be able to stay on the field. I don't think he touches the ball in this play. I think this is going to be a, it's a full line here. They're going to look to go to number four. He's going to bring it down, and they're going to have a driving mall. Okay, buddy. And they can meet us in the end zone. Let's see if they can do it. The Scottish have bested the beach in the forward pack generally today, particularly with the malls and rucking. Thank you. But not a bad idea for the beach to give it a go here. See if they can bring the Scottish game. To There's the, the mall. That's a clean ball. No lag, no lag, no lag, no lag. Did indeed four in the mall. It's pretty static right now. The beach, wheel it to the right, but it comes out. Going to the back line side to go in tight. The meet right. at the gain line with the centers. Dylan, stop yelling at me. The offside winger coming in. Stop yelling at me. The beach keeping no. the pace up, trying to move the ball around a little bit more. They're going to keep it around the sticks here because back if up, they can get a penalty, up. then they beach. can just kick the three points. You can see that they are clustered in in front of the sticks 
and are looking to form a back line out left now. And they get an advantage. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, they're going to move it here. Here's wide Tomas. Tomas. Good tackle there. They still have advantage. Can have a couple more phases. Oh. Now it's the Scottish oh. who are undisciplined. Got the hands in down here. No. Beach hitting up again, staying composed. Scottish player in the way. Got to go east west. The beach are looking good here. They've got some space in the right. I think the ball to the Move. right. Held up on the goal line. They've got some good try runners line, there. Is Julian going to get his second today? It looks like they got it. He gets his second today. The referee awards it. Oh, no, that's Peter. Peter Vandersteen, number one. Well, what do you think of that, Miles? You called it. They did uh, go full man line out. They brought it down to the mall. They looked like they were going to wheel it to the right down the short side, but then they moved it up with the backs yeah. and then punched it up in the middle. Good stuff. That's more yeah, it's, like it's the way the head. Scottish were playing. <laughs> in the first half. Yeah. yeah, but it's now worked for the beach. Yeah, I, no, I totally agree with that. I think that uh, it, it is exactly what they needed. They needed the score to get into this game. They dotted down just on the, off the left, uh, the left upright, and they hit this, and they're right back into this game, right? With 10 minutes to go. This is exactly what the McCormick Cup is supposed to be about, right? I think we said like three minutes ago the Beach need a converted try to like take ball. the lead again. Yes. And it looks like. And he missed. Oh, oh he yo. hits it. Hits the post, but it still oh, went through. Wow, that's crazy. So now the Beach are in well, lead by one point. March you can see one of the Beach supporters just holding his heart. I think that made him hard skip a beat. If you go south, that's on you. Go east or west. 10 minutes well, left. We've got a game in our hands. We do. And this is quite the rivalry. This one's built up over the last decade, I'd say. These, these two have met in the final a number of times. And if not then, then in the playoffs. Oh, good work from Big Scotty down in there. 27-year veteran of the club. Mr. Dead. Reliable. Showing his experience there. Beach slowing it down here. They just want to get it out of their end. With 10 minutes to go, you want to play in the opposition half. There's Denham there collecting a dangerous runner. He's not the guy that you want to get the ball to. No, 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 no! Penalty Rock two, first. so they draw a penalty. Rock first! Tackle player cleaned out, then you came in. Rock first! The last kick did go in. Sorry about that. That's a converted try. So it should be 23 24 for the beach. Yeah, the, uh, we just had a chat with the scorekeeper who's going to update that. That's right. So what happened to the beach player again? Not conforming to their rules. Thought that the ruck had been cleared out. Uh, the ruck was still uh, live, and he stepped in, tried to use his hands. Not allowed. Again, not clean. That was a knock on by the Scottish. The lineups really let them down today. Crowd really getting into it. They've had a couple of good driving malls off of their lineup, but besides that, it's 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 hurt them. And if you're not winning your line outs and get a good ball off the top. It's pretty difficult to, to play a, a big expansive tack mm -hmm. game. I agree. Defensive scrum here for the beach. Probably looking to clear. It's outside the 22. We're looking to get some real estate and get the ball out of here. Keep the ball in their end. see the pressure that the Scottish are applying to the beach, but they overcome it. Offside. Well done, referee. Yeah, the Scottish is getting a little bit too ambitious there and trying to push the beach scrum off, and the players are offside. The ball's not out. They're That's detaching a good call by the referee. Yeah. No, he was bound on. He was bound on. Well, you know your stuff. <laughs> I, I didn't play for Canada, Matt. <laughs> I suspect we can see something 
expansive here from the beach. Their lineup's been a little bit more reliable. They're going with the full, it looks like. Might have dropped a back rower. Jake, time check, please. No, I think they got a five man line. I think they dropped two back rowers. And they're going to use them to either hit them in the middle or fake and go wide, which they do. Meet at the gain line, make a couple of meters there. They're going forward. Good structure here from the beach. That's a nice quick ruck. Big collision there. Scottish are all over that, trying to slow it down, get their hands on it. The beach still nicely composed here, recycling the ball, building the phases, getting that defense from the Scottish unstructured. Not in the air! That's Gary Owen here from the fly half. The Scottish collect it, nicely done. They've been good with that scrappy ball. And it's a knock on from the beach. Yeah, not forward. What do you think of that kick there, Miles? Do you think that was necessary? Really I think they could have gone with a few more phases. Yeah, I agree with the kick. I think that was a good idea. Why not? We haven't seen a tester all day. You know, they're kicking into the wind, so the ball's going to hang, and then we'll see. Uh, you got to put that guy under pressure. Trying to make sure. If he misses the kick, if he misses receiving the ball correctly, then you know they're they're attacking inside uh, inside the forty. That was on your last one, okay? You were off on that one. Last one. Scottish scrum, again, don't be surprised if we see Coach. Wainwright picking this and going to the right. I saw him in warm-up practicing running wide, getting outside of the beach back row. And he's got two backs on his right here. And there he goes, moves the ball to the halfback. Nice work, good hands from the beach. Pardon me, from the Scottish. And they look composed there. Play on! Good run again there, I think, from Smith. The beach getting Away. down this time. The Scottish now building the phases. Playing wide. They've been great in that outside channel, that far channel in the second half. But they run it into touch. touch. He just what ran out of real estate, now? running down the sideline. Just simply just running out of real estate, running down the sideline. And with the angle he had, it was able to push him out, push him into bounce, or push him out of bounce. And we have a line out for the beach. Five minutes. Five minutes, the referee says, so it looks like we have a minute and a half Let's go, Beach. Let's of go injury now. time to add on. Yeah, thank you. I'll take time off. The crowd is really getting into this. Time is off. They know what this means to the players. Staying on. So guys, it's about uh, that time that, of the that, game when I uh, get some cramped players cool down. So he cleaned out the tackler. So there's a ruck form. You can't come in with your hands. You got to counter ruck. Okay. Like you're really good over the ball, but you got to beat the beat the beat the first arriver. Yeah. He's refereeing and he's coaching. <laughs> he's doing the tackle, everything. That's how you grow the game. He's gonna, start, he's gonna start playing as well. <laughs> All good guys. That's how you grow the game. This is anyone's go, game right now. <laughs> One point game. Wait, let's go. Less than five minutes left. This is what the McCormick Cup's all about. Bit of rivals here, um, so going head to head. Of, uh, Perfect rugby on. weather. You, you just, you're not meeting that pressure. Okay. okay. I will. I'll, I'll, I'll wash for you. Do we have any? Um, Come on. Mall. Great mall here from the beach. Well run from their line out. This is great structure okay, from them. Okay. Almost 10 meters so far. They break off the right, go down the right. Really pushing the Scottish forwards under pressure now. Hitting up tight with the beach forwards now. Again, making good inroads. This is nice shape again from the beach. Dwyer, again, being the general, moving the ball around the field, getting the resources in the right place. No hands, no this hands. is a scrappy one. The Scottish have been good with disrupting this ruck, particularly out wide, and they win have? the ball. They've been great at that all game. That's good stuff, that. no, great counter-rucking. It's time counter to capitalize on this. I'm happy with that counter and Move it back to the short side. And the beach now show what defense is all about. Yeah, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. The beach choose not to disrupt that ruck as much though. They choose to fan out in defense and have more numbers yeah, yeah, marking yeah, the ball carriers. Let's relax. 
Again, there's that man, <laughs> Smith. Mike Smith. All over the park. <laughs> Looks like Wainwright is down. That's going to be a, a tough loss if he's not able to keep playing for the Scottish. Scottish slowing the, the game down here. They've been staying in the near side of the field leave here. Leave the ball, leave the ball, yeah. Go hit the deck first. Condensing into these narrower channels. Yeah, that's okay. It's number 22 for the Scottish. Aiden Abbott has been Ooh, a, that's a pick. powerful player. Great pick. Guys, good clean out, good beach. clean out. Great clean out, great clean out. Good clean out. And that's out on the full. Mate, that's a great pick. Right in that you know, good clean out. what the scrum good half was attempting to do there, Dylan and Young, is when you steal the ball, the opposing team won't have the back three back guarding against a kick. So it's usually a good idea to kick if you can do it really quickly. Uh, that was a bit slow and also poor execution because he kicked it straight into touch there. Right. Uh, that's unfortunate because um, there was some real estate there for, sure. uh, for him to kick into. But again, it's, you know, he kicks into the wind. Right? It's yeah. the wind that's going to carry it. It's going to hold it up in the air and then ultimately take it out of bounds. Yeah, that's right. One point game here. The beach crowd are really getting into it. They know how much this means for the players. It means a lot to them too. It's a great community with that club. Last time the Scottish won the McCormick Cup was in 1972. They're they're hoping to make that that they're hoping to win one today. I would think so. Okay, no, eight, get out. Yeah, mate, stop yelling, okay? You just came on the pitch. Stop yelling. <laughs> oh, this is great I running from the Scottish. Playing their bread and butter rugby. The big forwards running up I'm the middle fine. and it's working for them. They're keeping making it in roads. They got some fresh legs on here too. You can see the cleaner jerseys are the substitutions. They got more energy. Now the Scottish going wide. Again, that open channel. And it's looking dangerous. When they move it wide, again, Abbott is making really great inroads since he's come on the field. The Scottish have got a ton of energy here. The beach are just trying to hang on. We're in the dying Ooh. minutes of the game. There's here. that man. There's that this man. It's going to be really tough not to concede a penalty right now to try and get that ball back. Looking for space here. Nothing there. Stiff arm comes back in the middle of the field. Great defense there from the beach. Being disciplined, not conceding the penalty. Because the penalty will win He's the it. game for the Scottish here. Way too long. Again, Smith again. Nice tackle there from the beach. I would think the Scottish should try to move the ball in the middle of the field so that if they do get a penalty, it'll be an easier kick for the posts. Yeah. The beach need to stay disciplined. They haven't been for most of this game. Now's the time if they're gonna show discipline. Can counter ruck, they can push back, just don't put the hands in the ruck. Feet! So we're at the full. Full time mark. But I know there's some extra time that's added on. So the next whistle could be the full game. Or there might be a little bit of injury time added on. Oh, it's that's went, fine. It it's backwards. gone backwards, backwards. But the beach defense are pressing. Andrew they Swales. They have to stay disciplined here to maintain really that well, yeah. one point lead. The Scottish look like they're opting to stay in tighter, which is not a bad idea at this point in the game. Everyone is exhausted. Sure. It's a little bit difficult to think right now and to get elaborate with your structuring at this point. And plus, just playing simple rugby, trying to get that penalty from the beach is a way that the Scottish can win the game. Going down the short side here, again to their captain, Caustic, great player. But the Scottish really do want to try and play in the middle of the field right now. Yes. And they're just moving in case it they there. The, they, they do have the numbers out to the left. The ball went, the ball went forward. The ball went forward, that they have advantage the Beach. This could be it. No! The Beach no, are just gonna kick it out that's here. Okay, that's okay, No, do not find advantage only, sorry. Oh, they elect advantage not over. to kick it out. I think the wind held it up again. This again, Japs collecting the ball. This is likely full time now. The next whistle is very likely to be the end of the game. So do you play for a drop goal here or do you keep playing for a penalty? Yeah, either way, they gotta get that to the middle of the field, get the kicker in a good spot. You gotta stay inside the 15 here. 
Or I, I think I guess yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. towards the middle. It's of the field. available. The Scottish are just going to keep doing this. Hitting it up ball, yeah, in the middle you. with the Fords. Keep it simple. They can do this for the next five hours if they want to, <laughs> as long as there's no whistle. The beach need to stay disciplined. It's hard when you're tired. Oh, they go wide here. The Scottish are going to have a go. The beach defense is slowly creeping across. We've got some tired legs out there. He's held up. The beach He's just need to hang He's held up for a little He's bit. Held up. He's this got to produce. Hang on. It's squeeze a collapse it. small. Surely that's game. That's it. That's the, game. the Balmy Beach are the 2022 McCormick Cup champions by one point. I, what I a game. You, I told you at the very beginning of this, rugby was the winner. <laughs> right? I told you rugby was going to be the winner. Great day, great weather, no rain, and the two best teams going at it. Rugby is definitely the winner tonight. Oh, there's a Scottish... There's a bit of a fight going on here. I, 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 the camera's not on it, but uh, we've we've been able to turn it down. You've got to admire the discipline of the beach players in that last defensive stand. Their defense has been, or their their discipline has been horrendous the whole game, and yet for the last five minutes of that defensive stand, they were able to hold it up and I, be able to maintain their discipline. That's phenomenal guys, work, especially. In those dying minutes of the game, your brain is fried, your legs are like jelly. I think Amazing it comes down stuff. to, if you took a look at the stats and see how many penalties they had in the first half, I think if you want to take a look at the stats and how many penalties they had in the first half versus how many they had in the second half, right? They had a guy that was sent off in the first half, and then, you know, they had a couple of warnings in the second half, but really when it came down to it, it didn't, um, it, it, they didn't end up sending anybody off. So I think that really helped the beach. Right? And they definitely showed their discipline, the fact that they didn't have to commit penalties when, when the Scottish were down inside the 10, 15 yard line, picking and going, picking and going, those, those, those short passes to get back inside. And they, they held their ground and held their ground and didn't commit a penalty. Yeah. Um, That's the difference. I, I counted 15 penalties here against the beach. Mm. It's nearly impossible to win a game. I mean, you can see that many, but the beach managed to do it today. That's true. Uh, count for Scottish penalties is looking more about four four or five yeah uh they maintain their discipline but at the end of the day uh they went to that expansive open game a little bit too late for them if they had managed to do that earlier on in the game uh take advantage of this fast pitch here today the dry conditions sure uh perhaps it could have been better but uh, it's it's a one-point game it's hard to say where where you could have uh made up for that one well, the difference was the kick <laughs> <laughs> the difference was the kick yeah. Right, the, con the converted kick that, yeah. they, that they missed. Because ultimately they're up by a point now and they're hosting the, the McCormick Cup. There you go. You're not yeah. making the kicker feel bad at all. I'm, I'm just telling you how it is. The, you left, like, and this is, the, this is the last game where you want to leave points on the table. Yeah. Right? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, when you have the opportunity to take your points, you've got to take your points, which they did, but then they missed the kick. Yeah. So. Phenomenal performance from both teams. It's, it's, it's uh, unfortunate they're, uh, that they can't both win the game. Uh, the Scottish really showed some character today and some great rugby, great structure. Um, it, it's, it's tough to see this loss for them. Sure. Um, they've got a whole lot of character, and uh, they're a club that's really developed over the years. And, yeah, for the last 10 years, they've really been a perennial powerhouse here. So it's tough to see them walk away yeah. with this one-point loss uh, on the flip side. The beach really showed some courage and some character, particularly when they needed it most in the last five minutes of the game. That's that's really something else. That that that's a lot of character and courage. You know I mean, I, hats off to the Scottish. I think they put up a very, very, a very, very good, uh, uh, a very good team. I think they're they're really strong this year. There's some great performances we saw. Mike Smith, we called his name a lot. Max Fryer, you know, uh, Marcello Wainwright. Rory Conway, these guys were literally all over the field and, and making a huge difference. But congratulations to the beach. Look at the beach club here. They the, do it for the 16th time. And big shout out to a good friend of mine, Scott Dunham. He wins his sixth McCormick Cup. Six McCormick Cups. Salute to you, Scott. Big Scotty Dunham. He's, yeah, six McCormick Cups. He's uh, captain the senior Ontario men's team. Uh, represent Canada as well. 
uh, got a wealth of experience and uh, having that kind of leadership here I'm sure that courage that we saw in the last five minutes there for the beach I'm sure a lot of that came from big Scotty Dunham no doubt big shout out to Ian McLeish this is uh, second year in the in the fold he won a championship last year if you call it that but you know it comes in this year and he wins him wins him the McCormick Cup it's put together a great a great coaching staff and uh, the guys are really locked in and dialed in and I think that's that's what you saw here just absolutely great rugby from everyone so but Matt it's been an absolute pleasure pleasure this has been a treat this has been fun thank you so much man thanks for doing yeah. this today thank you this has been an absolute treat looks like the looks like the trophy presentation it's going to be coming up here soon. We see the table's been set up. And the beach are still uh, enjoying themselves under the posts and are slowly going to make their way up to accept the McCormick Cup. They'll be dancing in the streets. Which they've now won 16, 16 times. 16 times. Is that a record? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> If it's not, then, uh, you know. Say, who else up there would be uh, the Irish? Irish, the Irish Canadians yeah. would uh, be pushing for that record uh, under Mark Winokur. They had a, a long stretch. They won one in 2018 under uh, Fabian. Fabian Rain. Former Toronto Argonaut. Yes. Former Toronto Extreme player. Former Woolburn Wildcat, Fabian Wright. It's a good day. It's a good day. We've just heard from uh, our statistician who went into the, the archives. The Irish Canadians also have 16 McCormick Cups. Oh, wow. Look at that. So it looks like now we have the Bombay Beach and the Irish Canadians tied for 16 McCormick Cups apiece. Wouldn't that be something? If they, they play next year? In the final next year. <laughs> yeah. Will you be here to call it? Absolutely, if okay. you are. I'll, I'll, I'd like to be here. Thank you, Rugby Ontario. Great job today uh, making this all possible. Um, field is in fantastic condition. The the production for this uh, for this event here on YouTube. Thank you to you, the the user, or the, the the subscriber. If you're watching at home, wherever you're watching, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening to us. You can see Brian Spanton down the field. He just left the screen there. Announcer for TSN. I think he tried to weasel his way in here today, but <laughs> we kept him out. He announces the World Cup with uh, Gareth Reese. And the Women's World Cup starts uh, on the 7th, the 7th of October. It does. So Canada is one of the higher seeds in the Women's World Cup. One of the top teams, I believe, in the last World Cup, Canada was in the final. A very strong women's program. Well, Miles, it's been a treat. I think this is it for us. The microphone is going down to the trophy presentation where any moment the McCormick Cup will be presented to the captain of the Balmy Beach Rugby Football Club. Like I said, Miles, it's been a treat. It's been uh, awesome. I think there's a few games to announce that would be more exciting than this one. It was really great <laughs> that we could get together fun. today in this uh, perfect weather for a uh, perfect rugby day. Yeah. So like we said, like you know, this is a two of the best teams and we saw it with the, with the score um, a lot of drama you know a little bit of everything right expansive rugby tight rugby and uh, you know and great officiating so 
I think it was a great day, and uh, thank you. Thanks for um, spending time with me today in the booth. And uh, yeah, man, it's been a treat. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I think that's it for us. All right, we're gonna go down to the uh, to the trophy presentation. Over and out until right. next year. Test, hello. Okay, if I could have everyone's attention. Thank you very much. My name is Miles Spencer. I'm the CEO of Rugby Ontario. I'd just like to welcome everybody to Fletcher's Fields for McCormick Cup Day. Thank you very much for coming out. It was great to see the grandstands full once again for the first time in three years. It's been three years since we were about last here handing out the McCormick Cup. So great to see everybody. I'd like to first start the presentations here by thanking our officiating crew. Obviously, without the officials, we don't have these games, and I know it's been an incredibly difficult season. Uh, with COVID and, and shortages of referees across the province, we've had to really count on all of you. So I'd just like to thank our officials. Our fourth official, Jake White. Our AR, Stephen Southers Robertson, Michael Jones, and our head referee, uh, Talal Chaudhry, also known as Mo. So gentlemen, please con come on up and accept your tankards. I'd also like to acknowledge uh, members of our Rugby Ontario Referee Committee, chaired by Karen Lozada, uh, members Jimmy Andaloro and Brian Chappell. They are servants to our community. They have done tremendous work this summer, making sure every game possible right across the province has been appointed. We've, we've had to look long and hard to find officials, so let's give a round of applause to those three. Okay, I'd like to call up uh, the, the captain of the Toronto Scottish to accept the, the finalist plaque. Okay, and I'd like to call up the captain of the Balmy Beach to accept the McCormick Cup. Yeah, so um, one thing we really want to say here today, we were fucking playing with our hearts on the line. We did lose somebody really close to this club who's done a lot of work for Toronto Rugby, Ontario Rugby, and I feel like we wouldn't have won this game if it wasn't for him today. So this one's for Paul Myers. Yeah.